Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to another edition of Sundays with Selly. Today we're going to be going over Lumitech lighting and POCO integration onto our Garmin MFD. It's very important, you need to know before we go any further with this, POCO lighting and integration onto this will only work if you have PLI Lumitech lighting. We're gonna go over what, what all that is here, so check it out. We're gonna go behind the scenes here and take a look. All right, guys, so we're not in our showroom this week. We are actually at the New England Boat Show, and I kind of want to go over a quick demonstration of what the POCO lighting is, how to install it, and what it can do for you. So as you can see here, we've got our Garmin display, and what we've done is we've taken our POCO light controller right here, and we've wired this in. We've given its own power feed, so we've got a three-amp fuse that's going up to our POCO controller. We have our white network cable coming down here. This goes into our Garmin network. We use a POE blocker. Anytime you're using something that isn't Garmin related, going into a Garmin product, put a POE blocker in there. Just saves headaches on the road for the troubleshooting. So, POCO lighting. What is it? How does it work? How's it different from the other guys? In this case, we've got four separate zones of control. We can control four separate zones. Each one can handle up to a 10 amp load. Now, LED lights, different varying loads. A rail two lights around uh, 0.8 milliamps. Uh, some of the down lights are half a milliamp. So it's kind of a wide range, so anywhere from you know uh, 20 rail lights to you know 30, 40 overhead lights. Depends on how you want to set this up per zone. So you have the ability to have four zones controlled or four switched lights from this one controller. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to take our power, it comes in, that feeds our controller. Then we're going to have our another power source coming off of our fuse panel right here, and that's going to come into the POCO switch. The power source comes into the POCO switch, and then comes out of the POCO switch into whatever the LED light that it's controlling. As I mentioned before, it's PLI lighting. That is their lighting protocol that they're using. We're switching the color sources without having the need for a data wire. It's still just a positive and a negative. So that's how we're controlling all of this through here. As you can see, we've got uh, zones are blinking here. That means we've got channels one, two, and three on. Our status is blinking, so it's happy. I do not have a fourth zone set up on this one. But what we are gonna do is we're gonna flip this around, we're gonna go to the other side, and we'll show you what those switches look like, how to set things up, and just how easy it is to set up different scenes in the Lumitech world. All right, so once we have the POCO light controller installed into the Garmin network, just like with anything that goes into the Garmin world, once it goes into there and it's working properly, you're going to end up with a POCO light controller icon. That, in this case, will be under the One Helm page. You're going to see the POCO light controller. We go into our POCO light controller. The first thing that's going to pop up when we get into here, I've already set up the three lights. We don't have our initial setup here, but if you were to have to set this up initially, we're gonna go into the top right-hand gear icon. We're gonna go ahead and we're selecting that. We type in the passcode. The default passcode from the factory is 0000. So we go ahead, we get that set up, and you see that on here I have a Mirage 2. Or I'm sorry, I have a Mirage light on channel one. On channel two, I have an orbit light. And on channel three, I have a rail two light. Those are all three of the lights that I have on here. We've identified them. We've told them that they are Lumitech Spectrum RGBW lighting, which means we have the full color spectrum of uh, RGBW uh, on there. So that's good to go. Then we can come over here and we go to our switches. Now this is the page that I've already set up and I've set up some different scenes and different modes for our boat show display here. So I wanna add a new one, I wanna make something new. So what I get to do here is I go to add new, and from there I'm gonna enter the switch name. In this case, let's just go ahead, we're gonna call it test. So we go ahead, we label it test, punch it out on the keypad, we hit enter. Now it has been labeled. We come over here, now we choose our target. Our target is the zone or the, the lights. In our case, like I said, we have Mirage, Rail 2, and Orbit to choose from. You can also choose from switches and different things, but in this case, we're working off of the light groups, which are the four of them. So our first target we're gonna say is a Mirage light. It's an Omnilume light, we've already chosen that. We know our intensity, we don't want it to be too bright, so we're gonna go with a 60%, and then we can choose what color we want it to come on from the color wheel here. We can say basic, our recently used ones. They have also the cross cycle, the cross fade, everything like that. We're gonna say, you know what, let's do red for our Mirage. 
we select our next one down, we're going to say the orbit light. That's our other down light. We're going to say, you know what, again, don't want it too bright. So we're going to make that one a 40%. We're going to go ahead, let's make that one blue. Now, there's a test button on here before you save it or do anything that can validate whether this is going to work and whether you like the colors and the brightness. So you go ahead, we hit the test button, and bam. Now my, t my light's in the overhead. I've got my red, I've got my blue. They're not too bright, I like it, but look at that. I forgot to add my rail two light. It's as simple as pressing on the target. I go back to rail two, and I say, you know, the intensity on that one, I want to do that one at 70. And that one, I want a color cycle. That means it's gonna go through all the color cycles. So once we go through that, we say, hey, you know, let's test that again. We hit the test button. Now everything is powered back up. This one over here, our rail two light, is going to slowly start cycling through all of its colors. So we say, you know what, we like it, that's good. We say add, update. Now it's been added. So now we can come over here, top screen there, we can choose the layout. From layout, we've got our basic lighting switches. In this case, that's our three zones, or our, in this case, three lights. We go to our advanced scene, and this is where I have already made some preset zones. But if we want to add one, we simply select the cross. And now all we have to do is scroll down, and we're going to see down here, test. And now, test has been installed on there. So now we've set up our zones, we've set up a load, we've done everything like that. We go into here, we press the home in the upper right hand corner. And now, we're back to our basic home screen. From there, as we said before, we've got our rail lights, our orbit lights, our mirage lights. We can turn them on and off right here. Again, real simple, real easy. It's just that simple. When they're in this mode, they're always going to start up in blue. And they'll just cycle through their colors. So that's fun. That's cool. That's neat. But then we go to advanced scenes, and this is where all of the presets happen. So we go in here, and we've got red, white, and blue. We go ahead and turn that one off. Uh, we can do night moves, you know, it's kind of just different settings, different things we've named as people come to the show. Uh, we, you know, we've got all kinds of different settings on here. So, that's it. That's Poco Lighting from Lumatech. Uh, I think we've covered most of the bases here. If you've got any additional questions you want us to answer about this, or maybe there's some new technology you haven't seen covered yet you want us to go over, drop us a line in the comments down below. Give us a follow on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook to stay up to date on the latest marine technologies. And uh, until next time, I guess I'm just going to jam out with some tunes here. And uh, talk to you later. Back, relax one time and you will find I try to keep it stress-free. Take every day at a time. Make sure the